Number one, you'll be in great hands with Liam, right? I mean, if you're going to learn how to do something, you want to learn how to do something from someone who has actually done it and has the track record to, to, to speak from. But also, you know, you've uh, obviously mm, through trial and tribulation and a lot of the, you know, 15 odd summits that you've done. I mean, it's just like you, you figured out what works and what doesn't work. And so now why on earth would you want to try to figure that stuff out on your own, right? And everything that you include uh, in the training really just streamlines, streamlines that process uh, in an unbelievable way. So, you know, reality for me, as I said, is you, you've got to be creative nowadays. You, the days of just putting up some social media posts and getting, you know, people to follow you. I mean, it just, it just doesn't work that way anymore. anymore. And with email open rates on the decline and, you know, people not really reading blogs anymore, it's like, what, what are you going to do? You have to do something. And for the rest of us mere mortals, right, who don't have 10 million followers on Instagram or whatever it is, they're like, you got to do something here. And so you can't just sit back and wait for people to find you. You've got to be a a bit aggressive in terms of creating that visibility for yourself. And one of one of the most beautiful things about doing the summit uh, is that your partners really do create visibility for you. And and that's priceless. So I just, like I said, at this point, I can't imagine why, especially if you're starting from scratch or you've got a five-figure business you're looking to get to six figures, uh, or if you've got a low six-figure business and you're looking to grow that, it's pretty tough to find something, as I've, as I've said now, that, that's more cost efficient and, and time effective to, to really grow your business. So big fan, man. Well, you know, again, the, the fact of the matter is that your first go at anything is always going to be the most difficult and it's certainly going to get easier as you continue to move you know things forward my first podcast episode was far from great right but looking back i wouldn't be able to get to the second one without the first one wouldn't be able to get to the third without the first and second etc etc so if you're if you're feeling the vibe about uh you know jumping in and working with liam all i can tell you is that you're in good hands and i've known liam now for for a number of years um, and I only support those who I believe in uh, and trust, and uh, and I wholeheartedly trust Liam, and and I know he's the best in this in this space.